Welcome to Weekly Observations, brought to you by Heritage Ministries, promoting hope, dignity, and purposeful living. I'm John D'Agostino with Greg Bacon, and today we're going to take a look at some of the bigger stories the observers covered over the week. One story that we were involved in, as well as the community, was the forum that was held at the Fredoni Opera House last Thursday. Uh, 200 people attended, and a lot of opinions were out there for people to respond to. The community forum was a great stepping stone, getting people's voices out there. Uh, the politicians are telling us, come to the meetings, voice your opinions there. We're hoping this is not an end, but rather a step forward where dialogue continues and real change begins to take place. People want to see change. They believe they're overrepresented, they're tired of paying such high property taxes, uh, some of the highest in the nation, and they want a difference. And uh, the politicians are saying, uh, come to our meetings and voice those opinions there. So let's do that and, and, and voice those opinions at those meetings. And during the night of the community forum, Westfield and Ripley voted on a potential merger. Now, Ripley said yes, but Westfield says no, and the next step is really in the hands of the state. The Commissioner of Education uh, can still call for a vote. Uh, the difficulty is that both Ripley and Westfield must pass it on their own, regardless of what the Commissioner wants. That's the way the state law is right now. I would predict the commissioner will not call for a vote because it was a two-to-one no in Westfield. Ripley overwhelmingly voted in favor of this. It may be one of those situations that they're going to wait a year and a day before they have another straw vote. And uh, when you don't merge school districts, what happens sometimes is some decisions are made to do some renovations. And that's the case in Forestville where an $11 million project is taking place and, and this was not met with, with a lot of uh, positive support at the forum. The forum criticized the Forestville School District for expanding an $11 million project for how many students go to Forestville? It's about around 519. Around five, 500 students at, at a school district. The other difficulty, though, is the state had already earmarked this money for construction and wouldn't let this money be used for anything else. Forestville is saying it's free money. It's not really free money because it comes out of the state coffers instead of our property taxes. But it, the Forestville school officials are saying, this money's already been spent. If we don't spend it, some other school district in the state will spend it. And that's where the, the, uh, the difficulty comes in. For links to these stories, click on Full Story, and you'll see them on the uh, right side. Uh, we'll see you next week on Weekly Observations. Thank you.